Hi everyone, this is Divya from Twitter. Today I will be teaching you about Twitter. What is it? Twitter, a social media site launched in 2006, is undoubtedly one of the most popular social media platforms available today. With over 160 million users, its primary purpose is to connect people and allow them to share their thoughts with a big audience. Twitter allows you to discover stories regarding today's biggest news and events, follow high-profile celebrities or companies that post content that you would enjoy consuming, or simply stay in touch with old high school friends. So how do you download? Simply go to the App Store on your iPad. This is the icon with the A, or an easel. When you're in it, you're going to want to search for Twitter. Simply tap it to download. You should see the icon with the square when it begins to download. When you go to your home screen, you'll see the little Twitter bird which is the icon for the company downloading. It might take a little while, but it's usually pretty fast. Once it's downloaded, you'll want to set up an account, which will be your profile. Click on the app. Here, it'll ask you to create an account. You'll want to fill out all this information. Once you fill this out, you'll want to hit sign up. It'll ask you to verify the phone number, so make sure you put in your correct phone number. It'll send you a code. Once you type in the code, you'll want to set a password. Make sure that it's something secure. Click Next. You'll want to pick a profile picture. I'm going to skip this step for now, but make sure that you pick a picture that is recent so that people recognize you. Here you'll want to put in a bio. You have 160 characters to tell the world about yourself. If you can, add something personal or quirky about yourself. You're more likely to get followers who align to your interests if you let your personality shine through. If you have friends in your address book that you want to find on Twitter, you can sync your contacts. I'm going to skip this step right now. Next, it asks you what you're interested in. So you will want to select some topics to follow to help personalize your Twitter experience. These are the topics that'll show up on your Twitter profile. So there's everything from sports, news, music, entertainment, lifestyle, and on and on. I'm going to pick soccer, pop music, politics, celebrity news and gossip, exercise and fitness, and tech news. Here, you'll see a bunch of suggestions of who to follow. You can pick your favorites.
and keep searching. And then decide if you want to turn on notifications. This will make sure that you are notified every time someone tweets or something, some news comes out. I'm gonna skip this for now. You can decide if you want your location to be tracked as well. If you go into your settings, here is where you can adjust your username to anything you want. You can type in a new username. You can change your password. Also in settings right above is where you access your profile, set up profile. This is where you'll upload your photo if you didn't do it right away and a header. Your header shows up as the background to your Twitter photo. Again, keep your Twitter, Twitter head, excuse me, keep your Twitter header branded. It shows up on mobile. So it's, include, it's important to include it on your Twitter account. This can be anything from a picture of you and your friends to a pretty sunset. Here you will see the completed version of my profile. As you can see, I have a header image, which is an illustration. I have a photo of myself so people can recognize me. My name is displayed because I've chosen to have my name displayed. My handle and username is right below it, which I chose to have be my name. I have a biography which tells anyone who looks at my profile a little bit about me. I've chosen to share that I live in San Francisco and my birthday, though only I can see the year because of the privacy setting that I've set. And all my tweets are down below. To set all of that up, I would have gone to edit profile. You can see here that if I click this, Twitter asks if it would like, if I would like to enable it to access my photos. That's where I would choose a photo to go into that header. Same with the um, profile picture. You simply click on it to change it. Here is where you fill everything out can put my name, I could put my first and my last or just my first, whatever I want my biography to be, my location. If I wanted to change it, I easily could. I don't have a website, but if you have one, feel free to share it. And then my birthday. All of that is saved over here. So what is in the anatomy of a tweet and how do you tweet? So a tweet is simply a post on Twitter that is 280 characters or less. It's called a tweet because it sort of resembles the same type of short and sweet chirp you might hear from a bird. So these are the tweets I've tweeted. In a tweet, you will see a few things the avatar or the picture of who is tweeting, the tweeter's name, you'll see mine, Divya Bahal, the username and handle, the date, and the tweet content, which is the post. There are some things you'll notice in the tweet, like the hashtag. Here it says, happy hashtag Earth Day. Using a hashtag, sometimes will generate an emoji, which is a reason to use it. It also enables you to see all of the conversation that was happening about that particular topic. So I clicked hashtag Earth Day and I can see all the tweets 
from everyone around the world that were tweeting about it. If you decide to include a URL, like I did in this tweet above, it'll show up right here. Lastly, there's some icons on the bottom. This one is to reply to the tweet. This would be to retweet it. Oops. That's to like it. If you want to retweet, all you do is click the icon. It'll give you the option to simply retweet and to have that tweet show up exactly as it looks onto your own feed. However, if you retweet with comment, it'll embed it and allow you to add your own comment and your own post. If you want, you can reply straight to the tweet and it'll go straight to that person, or you can simply just like it. So how do you post? Posting is easy. Simply go to where there is a tweet button, this little feather with the plus on it. It's in the left-hand corner. And here is where you'll type what you want to tweet. You can add a photo by clicking that icon, a GIF or a GIF by clicking the icon next to it. It'll generate whatever you're looking for. You can add a poll, ask your, everyone a question and give them choices. You can show your per precise location with that. But whatever you choose to do, oops, whenever you, whenever you decide that you're done tweeting, all you would do is click tweet and it'll send it out to the universe and have it show up on your feed. So how do you ensure privacy and protection on Twitter? Having a pu public profile allows you to interact with people you might not know. This could be anyone like Oprah. All we would have to do is search for her. And we can tweet at her or someone you might not know but has shared interests of yours. If you do want to be private, you can easily make your feed private so that only those who request to follow you can see your tweets. You do this by going to Settings and Privacy. You access that by the icon on the left-hand side with the three dots. Click Settings and Privacy. Here you'll see a bunch of options. You'll want to click Privacy and Settings. If you don't want people to see your tweets unless they follow you, you'll simply have to click that button that says Protect Your Tweets. In here, there's a bunch of options that you can adjust. If you want to receive messages from only those you know, uncheck this. If you don't want people to know that you've read their messages when you read them, uncheck this. If you want to block someone, you would click here to block. Lastly, explore and play around on the app. There's a lot of different features like this magnifying glass, which allows you to explore and see what's trending and see what people are talking about. Today in the United States, people are talking about Solar Opposites, which seems to be a movie or a TV show on Hulu. Additionally, they're talking about Free Stuff Friday, 
Stephen Miller, which seems to be political. Jason Derulo, who's a pop star. Something to do with the NFL. Monopoly. So there's a bunch of different news. As you continue to explore, you'll see that things are categorized in news. So if you want to really see what's going on in the world at that time, you can just click here and get a daily dose of what is trending. If you really don't want to pay attention to the news right now, but are interested in sports, you can go there. There's stuff about the NFL here. Just general fun. What people are searching for during the quarantine. What we miss and songs that describe 2020. There's entertainment. New songs that are released. You'll realize that there's a lot of information on here and you can spend a lot of time on Twitter learning about new things. A good first follow would be Curry Senior Center. Oops. Their handle is Curry SR Center. You'll see updates from all of them to keep you up to date. So definitely look around and find some accounts that interest you so that you can keep engaged and learning about what is happening in the world. Don't always feel like you need to post or tweet. It's totally fine to simply read on Twitter and consume. Thanks for joining us today and let us know if you have any questions about setting up your Twitter profile.